Hey there fellow wanderers, I hope you're all doing well. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you've been here before, I'm sending you a big virtual hug to welcome you back. My dear amigos, I just discovered one of Mexico City's best kept secrets. And I can't believe I never knew this. I love the arts. I'm a person who has attended plays, operas, and ballets in the US and in London when I lived there. However, I didn't attend too many because tickets, especially in the US, are at times prohibitively expensive. And while I appreciate musicians, dancers, and performers, I can hardly justify paying $150 to $400 uh, USD for a ticket. I just think that's insane. Well, Q in Mexico City. I've taken countless pictures of the gorgeous Palace of Fine Arts, and I visited the museum once a few years ago, but it never occurred to me to see how much it would cost to uh, see a show there. I'd heard about the gorgeous theater and its two million crystal stage curtain designed by Louis Comfort Tiffany, the son of the founder of Tiffany and Company. He designed it in 1912. But I guess I figured it would be too pricey and I wasn't willing to spend that kind of money. Now, I think the idea came to me from the fact that a few years ago, Maluma, a very famous Colombian reggaeton singer, was passing through Mexico City and a 20-something friend of mine was going to go see his one-hour show. One hour, okay? And she asked me if I wanted to go. So I asked her how much tickets were and she said, and these were for nosebleed seats, she said there were 1,500 pesos. That's 75 US dollars for a one-hour show by a guy who's fine um, no amazing, you know, artist, if you will. I heard he sings horribly live because guess what? He's not really a singer, but more of a performer with a lot of help from technology. Anyway, I said no thanks. And I guess at that point, I supposed if this guy's concert tickets were going for 75 USD, surely a sophisticated opera or symphony orchestra or ballet would be going for so much more than that. I was so wrong. Now, taking a quick detour, I just wanted to talk to you about the museum for a minute. The museum at the Palacio de Bellas Artes, or Palace of Fine Arts, is a must. It contains works by some of Mexico's most important muralists. And for Americans, we can probably appreciate this more than others. The museum contains Diego Rivera's Man, Controller of the Universe, also known as Man at the Crossroads. This was the painting or the mural that Diego Rivera was commissioned to create by the Rockefellers in 1932. They wanted a mural for their building, uh, Manhattan's Rockefeller Center, known as 30 Rock, if you get the reference. Anywho, when the work was completed, it depicted tensions between art and politics. It was a critique on capitalism, and it contained the face of Vladimir Lenin, one of the fathers of communism. It was completely destroyed and taken down in 1934, obviously, but Diego Rivera recreated it at the Palace of Fine Arts here in Mexico City, as you can see here. There are other important muralists represented uh, in the museum, including Jose Clemente Orozco, David Alfaro Siqueiros, and Rufino Tamayo. The cost to enter? 75 pesos or three dollars and 75 us dollars that is such a deal to see this museum and to also get to see the palace of fine arts um its interior which is a work of art if you will in and of itself so this time around a new friend i have here in mexico city happens to be the daughter of two classical musicians who still perform at bellas artes although most of the performances had been shut down due to covid until recently she suggested to a small group that we go see the ballet. Mexico's National Dance Company would be performing a ballet to the music from the opera Carmen. The most expensive tickets would be 200 pesos, that's 10 US dollars, and the most affordable only 128 pesos or $6.40 USD. And that was after a 20% discount that is being applied to all tickets because of the pandemic. I was shocked. I could see a ballet performance for 10 bucks? Holy cow. Well, I got dressed up. 
I was the only one actually. <laughs> you don't have to dress up. In Mexico City, people are chill about that. But I wanted to get dressed up. It was my prerogative. Uh, there were seven of us in total. Uh, you have to wear a mask and you are seated in tubes. That is two seats, one empty in between, followed by two seats and so on. Even if you come together as a group. It's a little overly cautious, especially if people come together, but that's fine. I mean, you're not gonna chat during the performance anyway, so it doesn't matter. The performance space did not disappoint one bit. It is beautiful, and that Tiffany curtain is amazing. As I mentioned, it's made of two million crystals. It weighs 24 tons, and it's the only one of its kind in the world. The image depicted on the curtain is that of the Valley of Mexico flanked by two volcanoes, or the two volcanoes known here are called Pepopo. Oh my god, that name's so hard. Popocatepetl, and the other one is Izcahuiti, something like that. Anyway, it's the two big volcanoes. It also pictures flora and fauna uh, native to Mexico. The curtain alone is a must-see, and the pictures don't do it justice. The entire place is made of Italian Carrara marble, inside and out. You can see a bit here. It literally sparkles like nothing else and reflects like a mirror. It really is stunning. Here's a little peek at the ballet itself. It was a great night. I'm so glad to know that I can attend arts and culture events here in CDMX and that they are affordable. This is what you get when the government values the arts and understands the importance of making it accessible for all people at all income levels. I highly recommend this experience if you're in Mexico City. Now before I go, here are some tips on buying tickets. As you can see here, you can go to the website, find something that you'd like, and in this example, a show by the National Symphony is 180 pesos at the most expensive price point, that's under 10 USD. When you scroll to the bottom, you'll see an option to purchase tickets via Ticketmaster. I presume that you can use a foreign credit card uh, for the transaction if you do it that way. Alternatively, you can purchase the tickets in person at the Palace of Fine Arts box office, but they only take cash or a domestic credit card. Now, either way, having cash is not difficult since you're not talking about thousands of pesos, so it's easy peasy. Now, the folks here are serious about taking COVID precautions, so bring your mask, as I said, and if you're in a larger group, expect to be seated in pairs. Enjoy. Oh, and we ended the night with some salsa dancing and some drinks. Mexico City really is a wonderful place to truly live life. I love it. All right, amigos, I'm going to leave this here. I hope you found this information helpful, and I hope it persuades you to visit the Palace of Fine Arts in Mexico City for some arts and culture. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Remember, subscribing doesn't cost you anything. You can leave the sub sitting there with your other subs. You don't even have to look at it, but it helps with my algorithm so that others can find these videos. Hasta la próxima. See you next time. Bye.